What's up, everybody? Welcome back to Third Person. My name is Chris. That's Mike. <laughs> What's going on? Guys, we've got a special Into the Badlands episode for you. Uh, we are going to be doing a top five moments from season one of Into the Badlands. Yes, yes. Great rewatch. Get those uh, brain cells filled with Into the Badlands content once again. Makes uh, makes me excited. Yep. You know, we, we've not not seeing it for a little while. It's like, it just makes you appreciate the show that much more, right? Absolutely. And and oddly enough, this is my first rewatch of season one. So it was really it was really great to go back and after everything and and especially after talking to all of the the people that we've interviewed and had on our show oh, and everything yeah. like yeah it's really interesting now to go back and see this first season so so it Mike is. Mike and I went through and we came up with our with our top five uh, we don't know what each other's are so we, there might be some some doubles and if there are then we'll let each other know but uh, we're gonna we're gonna let you know show them tell them to you and then we're gonna talk about them a bit so why don't we just jump sure. right into it. Uh, Mikey, uh, I'll give you mine. Okay, so all right, we're my, gonna start with five. Correct? Yeah, the my yeah. So my f fifth, no, so moment number five. We're gonna go count count up to one. Okay, uh, number five for me is from episode two, Fist Like a Bullet, and it's the intro to the widow. Uh, this is the scene where the widow goes to the nightclub looking for her former regent, um, and she's you know dressed in all black and she's got the stilettos mm. on, and you know she goes to there and and, and she talks about. You know, he he apparently left or whatever, to, and he took some some of her stuff, and she wants him to come back so they can go against Quinn. And shit goes sideways, and she decimates everybody in the room. And it was just that was like to me that was the best intro to the widow. And having you know going back, so when I was watching this, and then I thought yeah. about my top five. Whenever I was watching, I thought back to whenever I was watching and said to myself, "Oh damn, yeah, like." That's what stood out to me, and this happened to be one of those those scenes. So, what'd you think about yeah. that? Do you remember that scene? Yeah, no, it was. Um, I mean, anytime you get to see uh, that that uh, it, it's funny because I think from watching now from from the first season, it seems like the characters have evolved so much more. But yeah, hell yeah. just that it seemed like her hair was like super super bright red too. Yeah, yeah. Um, no, but uh, yeah, no, a great scene, a great scene, great fight. Um, oh yeah. I have it, a it, no, no, go ahead. It ends with her putting the stiletto into the guy's throat. She slices yeah. his throat with the heel. Like that was sick, you know. She's not messing around. It's a, nah. it's not. Besides her, her swords, or short swords, or long swords, whatever they are, she has, so, yeah, she oh, has yeah. uh, that third, that third weapon. There. No, great, great, uh, great pick for you, number five. What do you got, man? What's yours? Um, I'm not going any any way uh, specific to an episode okay. for my number five. My number five overall is just the mystery of Azra that we get right off the bat. Okay. With with the connection between the, Sonny having the compass. Yeah. And MK coming with the to, medallion. Yeah, you know, right. with the medallion. And there's yeah. something special about this this kid. Obviously, we know right from the bat um, that MK has has this gift, and it just gave a like a lore to it and a mystery to it. That's good. Yeah. And. And even now in season three, we we still don't necessarily know if it's a real place. Um, that's well, we know that there was a, this these magazines and these things like that with this cover of you know Azra on it. Yeah. But there's still so much mystery around it. Is it still there? You know, what is? Did there's just such a there's such a broad scope about. Um, what it's all about right. and what the connection is with with these characters, Sonny and, and MK, and even some of the other characters now that we know have the gift or have had the gift. Yeah. So it's a continuous thing throughout this whole series. So I wanted to definitely th put that in there as um, my number five. That's well, definitely good. That's a. It's you're right. That's it. The overall just. Just that particular story element, you know, is what makes the show. Obviously, it's it's a like you said, a constant throughout the show, and it's just yeah, that's a that's a good one, man. That's a real good one. Uh, yeah. All right, you want to move on to number four? Sure. Number four for me is from episode four. Okay. Uh, it's that that episode was two tigers subdue dragons, um, and this is the episode. This is this this is the scene where Sunny takes MK to the field to learn more about his gift. Yeah. Remember that scene? So he goes yeah. there and he says, you know, listen, I the only way I can help you is if, you know, um, is to face you. I have to know. I, you know, it's the only way I can help you. I got to face so you. I got to try to help him control it. I got to know. Yeah, I got to know. So what happens yeah. is he um, 
he cuts him and he and he gets his ass beat right and he yeah. and then they both pass out when they wake up you know mk berates him and is like what the hell were you doing like you could have got yourself killed and he's like listen he's like next time this happens you know uh you know just think of something uh pure you know yeah. so to me you know seeing this scene it was like he he took a big risk and i was like yeah. that was insane that he did that you know what i mean like the fact that he did that like that's that was pretty crazy of him to do, you know, thinking like you already got your ass handed to you once, you know what I'm saying? So it's like, um, I don't know, man, what'd you think? Yeah, no, I mean, that's a great scene. I have something, uh, around that time in one of my top picks to another, uh, something close to that scene. But, um, I, maybe it's a part of maybe there was a part of Sonny that, that felt like him being kind of like his mentor and, and MK being his cult that maybe he felt like he would be the one that'd be able to snap him out of it. Um, and maybe, that's why yeah. he was, he was, um, you know, okay, willing to do that and right, put himself right, into that yeah, position, right, exactly, uh, yeah. situation. But yeah, no, that's a, that's a, that was a great scene. Yeah, that was yeah, a great definitely. Scene. What do you got? Uh, my number four was actually the opening fight, the fight in the forest episode one, um, where right off the bat, where we see Sonny alone and he comes up to the, 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 the dead, um, I, you can't call them slaves, but I guess they were cogs uh, that were supposed to be delivered. They were they were cogs, yeah. And then yeah. he fights the nomads, right? And yeah, he fights funny. the nomads in the woods, and that's where you know just the fight. I picked it really because of the fight, even though that was their first um, Encounter, introduction yeah, right, encounter yeah. with MK and, and Sonny. But just the overall fight was awesome, and just one guy after the next getting picked off in some crazy brutal ways, and and very very bloody. It just opened up the show. Yeah, it gave us uh, as viewers for this first episode a, a big wow factor. Yeah, yeah, absolutely, you know? absolutely. So that's why I thought that um, that was uh, it was a great a great scene, great uh, great part of an episode. Yeah, I I absolutely agree. I absolutely agree. Yeah, uh, let's let's move it on to number three episode. Uh, I my my moment number three was from episode also from episode four. Uh, again, two tigers subdue dragons. This 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 moment was. When Vale decides to keep Quinn alive, this is when she's giving him uh, the poison. She so she says, I, "I, you know, my father concocted this poison uh, to cure you." You know, she's like, "But you know, the decoction he listed in his notes will weaken you, but it may heal the growth first, right?" So later on, she's giving that to him, and she asks him, "Why did you kill my parents?" You know, and you know. He says, listen, why don't you why don't you just turn up that poison and kill me? You know, and then she doesn't. And he says to her, you know, we're both prisoners of our nature, of our natures. Yeah. So right there, that whole thing was just like the fact that she literally could have just ended him right there. But she couldn't because it wasn't who she was and she couldn't bring herself to do that. And then yeah. he, he says, so once that happens, you know, Quinn being the bastard that he is and the, the conniving, you know, malicious man he is, but very smart. He says it was it was Sonny's blade that ended their lives. So yeah. why do, what do you think about that? Like very manipulative. But the fact that that just that whole scene was was really tense for me. And I just I enjoyed the acting was so good, like. The, they they played off so well together, like you know, um, yeah, man. It's just it was yeah. one of, it was it was a good scene. I love that scene, man. Yeah, no, it was a great scene. It definitely was, especially how you see the whole setup of how she was treating Quinn in the first place yep. with all the different um, the tubes in his arms and the two, yeah, yeah man. exactly, and just even the um, the way she's able to get some of these images of the brain and all this kind of stuff was was cool. And Quinn was just a great character. Yeah. Uh, overall, so even though he was, you know, not the the best <laughs> best guys, he yeah. was uh, he was he did a no, fantastic job. Fantastic. I don't know, I don't remember yeah. his 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 real name offhand, but he, uh, Martin, he did a great job. Was, was it Martin? I believe. Yeah. Um, but yeah, no, that's that, that's a good one. So I'm up to um, um my third. Yeah. This comes from episode four. This is similar to um to where you said with the Sunny and uh, MK gift thing and this kind of came right after this is um the fight at the at the parlay this yep. is with jacoby yeah and and yeah. quinn and 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 this whole scene is set up because of the widow and making um pin, trying to pin quinn and jacoby and everybody against against one another and just that just that fight scene 
um, was was fantastic. And a big moment of that fight was that MK wasn't supposed to be there. Right. And MK turns and Tilda's the one that is actually um, getting connecting with him. Right. And he's well, she, able to She's the pure thing. She's yeah. she's the that's yeah, so you're you're pulling the scene that is the result of the scene of my moment. And yeah, yeah it's it's exactly yeah, and don't forget, you know, it was Tilda that threw Jacoby's pickaxe. It yeah. was, you know what I mean? Like that was obviously the whole point of it. And yeah, yeah I mean, you're starting this war. Uh, yeah. Yeah. I considered know? that. I also, I also considered that one because I yeah. thought that was, I thought that was, that was fantastic. And um, yeah. yeah, I mean that, yeah, that was just a really good, the whole thing from start to finish was a really good, a really amazing. Just seeing scene. how everybody fights and how, you know, we're getting, we were getting so many more, you know, we're seeing these, these different um, houses and these different barons and things like that and the way their skills and their, their preferred weapons and things. It's, it's cool stuff. Yeah. Um, all right, cool. So, uh, what do we went on to number? You're two. on to your s- number two. Number two. My number two happens to be your number four, I believe. The Sonny's first fight against the Nomads in episode okay. one, the fort. Um, I made. I yeah. I I chose this one and I put it up there a little more because not only was it it's it's it still remains to be one of the best fight scenes, you know. But we're not just talking fight scenes right now. That could be a whole different video. Um, but just the moment that that. Mo- introducing that character mm-hmm. introducing some of the bad guys like those the nomads are characters throughout this throughout this the, all the seasons that they're just you know they're the they're like the kind of the scum of the earth they're like the the, the criminals and whatever yeah. you know and the fact that and just showing sunny as a a a lawman in a way you know and just really setting it up it opens up with him riding the motorcycle and mk doing the voiceover and, and then he he stops he finds it like it just really it was a great opening to the whole thing and then just that whole thing was like okay this is what we're getting you know um our youtube buddy al um uh from dark side uh tv and movie reviews he's always he says this thing where he's like you know just watch the first 10 minutes of the first episode and i and and you know i dare you to not get hooked on this show and you know he has an absolute point you know it's because of that opening scene and and how sunny doesn't even use his weapon he puts his sword down he's You know, fighting all these these yep. guys, you know, um, without a weapon. Yeah, it, it absolutely. Was, yeah, I agree with you too. How you said some that. of the it's, best, it's still one of yeah. the best fights. It's, yeah, absolutely. In, um, in this in this series so so far. Yeah. Um, my number two is um, just overall. I mean, you mentioned a little bit with the treatment. This comes kind of from episode five, even Bridget from four, with just the overall treatment and seeing now the effect that the tumor is having on on Quinn. When he's speaking in front of his people and he has Lydia and he has um, Jade, Jade yeah. on mm-hmm. both sides and and he's getting these these pains or these um, these uh, he's getting the headaches. Yeah, the headaches yeah. He's getting the migraine and he's not thing. able to he's not able to fulfill this. That this, was a um, six. That was pretty sick, actually. That was and it's pretty. a beautiful shot scene. Yeah, with with his. You know, with the the, the 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 fighters there in the poppy fields and all this kind of stuff, and and they're talking about, listen, if we don't get the poppy poppies picked, you know, everything we they're gonna die, and and this and that, and how Lydia and Jade kind of put their differences aside for maybe just a moment. Yeah. yeah. Um. And we'll Jade out there. Out, yeah. yeah. Jade continues with the speech, finishes things up. She shows she's showing the the, the cogs and everybody. Um. Had it had a, you know bleed the poppy or whatever that yeah, how yeah. the hell they get that yeah, from. yeah yeah it's just oh it, it was really one of the beginning moments of, of seeing quinn dealing with this this tumor and yeah. i just thought that was cool how that was women they, they have their own qualities uh jade and, and lydia yeah. um, lydia obviously being a little bit older and she's been through more obviously uh, yeah yeah, so it, it was just, uh, you know, they can kind of handle themselves, and I like how they kind of stepped up in that. You know, uh, just a side note, Lydia, you know, she says early on to Jade, you know, he, I think it was it to Jade? Yeah, I think she says, you know, he'll, I'll always have, you may have his body, but I'll yeah. always have his heart, you know, and I always, yeah. I always enjoyed that sentiment from her. And I, and, you know, again, that was early on, like episode one, I think, maybe. Yeah. Um, possibly too, but yeah, that was some fantastic, you know, that's some good stuff. Yeah, def- definitely yeah. good stuff. Um, 
Uh, all right, so let's let's do it. Let's let's head to that last one. Yeah. Uh, all right, so episode uh, my 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 top moment from episode six, Hand of Five Poisons, is the reveal of the Abbots and the fact that they have Dark Chi. Um, to me, I mean, not only was that an amazing battle, an amazing fight, you know, which I have this dichotomy, which I want to talk about in a second, but. That opened up, for me, that opened up, and for everyone, obviously, and for the show, it opened up everything. When I saw that, I was like, oh, my God. So there are, number one, there's more. Number two, there's masters of it. Number three, they're beating Sonny's ass, which brings me to my point. We just talked about my moment number two, your moment number four, Sonny's, uh, you know, blasting of the nomads, like opening up with how how badass Sonny is. And then at the Mm -hmm. very end, one of the last things we see Sonny is he's... Um, you know, b- being defeated. Yeah. You know? So yeah. it's like you see this whole thing and it's like, holy crap. Like it opened up with Sonny being a badass and closed with not still being a badass. And it, it but... opens with, it, it opens and closes with, with Sonny technically saving MK and he's trying to save him in that final episode as well. Yeah. So the Abbots don't take him. And it's funny you said that because yeah, my cause... number one is the same thing. Oh, nice. So awesome. We awesome. can agree on that, obviously. Fantastic, I wrote yeah. their super masters of the gift. They yeah. were able to b- turn blow all the lights out. They were like elemental. Yeah, yeah, all yeah. All the torches and everything went out. Um, they had their pinpoint That's um, right. touch spots. You know, they were the one abbot was able to snap Sonny's sword in, in two in with twain. his bare hands. Yeah. In twy. He's not <laughs> <laughs> He split his arrow in twine. <laughs> yeah, so oh, it was yeah. um obviously in the end they end up taking MK because Sonny wasn't matched. Everybody ends up right. Him. Like you said, MK um, ends up back in it back in the box again. Back you know? in the box, started in the box, and he and he and he And that's something and, you don't realize, right? Like you didn't on the yeah. you didn't realize that the first time you watched the show. Oh no, no, it's right? not but on the rewatch, you're like, oh my god, look, you get to see all these things again, which is yeah. fantastic. That's awesome, man. Yeah. Yeah, it's, it's so it's um you know, we still have we still have uh ideas about these masters and, and exactly who they are, where they where they come from. And obviously uh, I don't know if it's to you. Maybe I'm wrong. These master, these abbots were in a different. Uh, I don't remember this place as being. It's it's different from where MK was in season two, I believe. No, the no, this is them. This is it's them. This, no, but is it the same locale? Well, is they the t- location. Well, they took it him. Was. Well, here's the thing. Here's the thing. Regardless. Don't forget. Don't forget the the the, the issue. It, it, you know, we kind of have to step out of it, out of the fantasy for a little bit, and realize that they they shot in uh, uh, they New shot Orleans, the, the first yeah, episode, yeah. the first season, and then they went to Ireland for the second. That's season. true. So maybe so maybe, they had to change over. Yeah, um, no, that's true. That's you know, true. so they end be up being thing. you know, but but you know, either way, yeah. I mean, it yeah. technically it's all from the same. They took him to that temple, and that's where it was. But yeah. um yeah, so very good stuff. I, I, I I'm I'm glad we both had the same number one. That's that's pretty good to, that's a good way yeah, to do is. that. It is good. We have a little honorable mention. You want to get the little honorable mention? Yeah, out I do. I mean before we it, end it. Again, it was a toss up. Like a couple of yours were so like that could definitely be honorable mentions for me, but one that I did write down was from episode two, and it's when MK's in the tub. And and it's the first interaction between the widow and MK. Yeah. And we get the backstory of her son Percival. Yeah. I mean, we don't get much, but we get we get uh, this story. We hear the name. We yeah. hear his name, um, and it's just I, I don't I just enjoy. It was just like is this young boy sitting in this tub? He doesn't know what the hell's going on. He sees this woman, right? Yeah. This like beautiful woman, this deadly beautiful woman, and she's questioning him. And it's and it's seductive, not in a gross way, but in a way, it's like you know what I mean, in a motherly way. It's very weird, very interesting. Like it's a very like. Mm-hmm. Almost like the like um, uh, Oedipus like, you know what I mean? It's very yeah. like she acts like this mother figure, but she's still a little bit like using Allure. her wiles, yeah. like yeah, like yeah. you know, like tell me what I want to know. And he ends up just saying, "She's like, I'm searching for a boy, and he was, you know, um, he's 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 special, and I'm I was looking for this guy and this boy, and she's like, he says there's nothing special about me, yeah. you know. Anyway, that's my I just I just really enjoyed that scene. I just I I thought it was very interesting. 
putting these characters like that and just very early on too, dude, it was episode yeah. two, you know? Yeah. Um, my, I had a couple little things. I always like when they give us uh, hints and glimpses of the old world. Now, yeah. I believe it was in uh, episode four. It was when Quinn a lot, was a lot of moments from episode yeah. four. What a, that's a linchpin of this season, I guess, <laughs> you know, when, um, when Quinn was speaking with Ryder about the parlay and meeting up, like I want you to, to meet up in the parlay and all this kind of stuff. And oh, yeah. you see, they talk about the white house and you see the white house model behind Yeah, and how yeah. Quinn, is, Quinn is just speaking of these people were almost, um, moronic and how they thought and they yeah. thought that um you know how how the control can be and how can you control mm -hmm. this whole place and and just just that idea of of how the laws and and everything went down and the government and things went down i always thought that was cool and there was one other scene um i think it was episode three it's with um at the sanctuary with tilda and the other butterflies and they find tilda has or i don't remember if it was her one of the other butterflies has the snow globe and she, they're shaking it because they're like, oh, what is this? And they yeah. find the record player. Oh, the record play, player. They, yep. And they're she playing comes that record in. and they're dancing around. And it's just I always like that kind of stuff. And we see some more of that in the in the in the seasons and, the in, you know, with this, the Christmas stuff and all that kind of stuff later yeah. on in the other seasons. But I always like that callback. Yeah. You know, and that um, in fact that they don't know what it is and they don't yeah, they don't understand yeah. it. They don't understand the culture behind it. You know, not that the widow does, but perhaps she does a little more, maybe. But I don't know. Look, yeah. it's five hundred years; no one knows anything. You know what I'm saying? Exactly. Or what they know, what they know could be skewed, or they don't know right, exactly yeah. the whole truth. But just, I just always love that. I always love the kickbacks and that that old school stuff and, and yeah. the old world stuff. Yeah. So uh, I think that's uh, I think that's about it. I think that should do it. You know, guys. Obviously, we'd like we'd love to hear your thoughts on season one. Now, remember, this is just season one we're talking about. Don't worry about season two. We're going to be getting to season two. But uh, yeah, season one. What was your What were your favorite? You know, what were even if you want to do what weren't your favorite moments? Like, were there some things that you didn't like? It's fine. You can tell us. It doesn't matter. That's what we're here for. We'll talk <laughs> about right. them. But you know, we don't. I don't really have any. I don't have anything that that was that I find negative about it. Like I just, oh, no, no. everything. It's I'm just... sure if we nitpicked it, but going through this, I wasn't thinking that, and, you know, I was all focused on my favorite stuff and the things that hey, stuck look, out to me. We're fanboys. Yeah. What do you want to do? Right. We're, we're That's in the right. pocket of big bad land. What do you want? That's right. All right. That's I don't right. care. I said it. You happy? I said it. No, uh, <laughs> we love the show. That's why, but yeah, let us know what, what you guys Yeah, thought. Let us know in the comment section, obviously below here on YouTube, let us know your top moments. Like Chris says, maybe some of your negative moments. What are your honorable mentions? Uh, it, uh, you know, what, what do you agree with? Uh, if any of our, you know, Chris and I's top five, let us know what you think. Third person, and pod of course on instagram and on youtube uh oh excuse me i already said that yeah. on facebook and twitter and instagram you third person pod third person pod on itunes as well check yep. us out and if you don't know obviously we 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 have a bunch of interviews q and a's with the with a community q and a's with um a bunch of the actors and the people who do create the show uh daniel Wu, sherman augustus we've got giovanni uh lipari we've got um, Paco Cabezas. We've got um, one of the admins. Too. One of our admins came on and did our trivia yeah, show. All trivia. those guys did our trivia. Well, most of them did the trivia show. Plus, uh, one of the admins from the Facebook group that we're in, and uh, yeah, and, and a lot of those questions came from the, from the Facebook group as well. The community Q and A's that we've done. So yeah, and we've got more more into the Badland stars and creators uh, uh, coming on our show. So, you know, definitely stay tuned for that. But go yeah, check out that stuff. That. It's good. The trivia show is fantastic. It's so much fun. It's uh, fun there's that. short videos. That, you know, go check them out. They're so much fun. You can binge them in, in like less than an hour. You know, it's a, go watch them. We're going to get more people on there. And if you and if you want to be on the trivia show as a contestant to test your knowledge, uh, just get in touch with us. Any of the ways that Mike said, and we'll, we'll get you on there. We, You know, that's what we want to do. So uh, the Facebook group is down below so you know go go join that group and say hi to us and uh yeah it's a fantastic community over there and the show is fantastic and everyone that's in and on and creates it so uh that's why we do this so that's going to do it for us thank you very much this has been top five moments for into the badland season one stay tuned we're going to be doing season two very soon Peace. if you want to see more into the badlands content Click either of those links on the left of the screen. If you miss the 80s like I do, then head over to the Retro Squad YouTube channel where the 80s are alive and kicking. Or click one of those videos.